Hi, my name is Jade Luna and I'm a Nickel State University cheerleader and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a cartwheel. Now the reason I'm teaching you how to do a cartwheel is because it's super easy for beginners to learn. It's a level one skill, so this video is for anybody who's interested in learning how to do any types of tricks or flips. Now a cartwheel can be done on any type of soft surface, so grass is fine. Today I'm going to be demonstrating on a mat. I'd also recommend before you do your cartwheel to make sure if you have longer hair that it's pulled back in a ponytail because it's a lot safer that way and that you either are tumbling in tennis shoes or barefoot. Today we're going to get started with some stretching because it's very important like any other sport that you're nice and loose before you do any type of tumbling so you don't pull any muscles. So we're going to start off with stretching and the most important things to stretch for your cartwheel is your arms, legs, and wrists because that's the main muscles you will be using. You also want to hold each stretch for about 15 to 30 seconds. of a cartwheel. Now you can start a cartwheel with your right or left leg. I would recommend starting with whatever hand you normally write with. It's probably going to be the easiest leg to do a cartwheel. Now I have Riley Luna, my little sister, assisting me in demonstrating the beginning position today. So the first thing she's going to do is start in a lunge, bending her forward leg and locking out her back leg. She's also going to start with her arms right by her ears, making sure her head is squeezed and that she's completely locking out her arms so if I push down her arms shouldn't bend. Now the reason why your arms is so important is because if they're far apart or if she bends them her head's going to be close to the ground and she could potentially land on her head and that's dangerous and we don't want that so it's really important to squeeze those ears and stay tight. So now we're going to talk about actually going into that cartwheel. So we just discussed the beginning position which we described was like this. Now when you're actually going into your cartwheel, each body part is going to hit at a different time. So I like to put numbers to it. So your right arm is your leading hand, just like your right leg. So this is going to be one. This left arm is going to be two. Your back leg is going to be three. And your forward leg is going to be four. So like I said, it's all different contact positions to the actual ground. And you're going to see what I mean in just a second. Now also, whenever you're doing your cartwheel, you want to make sure you're reaching far out in front of you. You don't want to reach right by your foot because this is going to make your cartwheel a lot more complicated and super short. So we want a nice, pretty long cartwheel. So make sure you're reaching far away from that foot and your hands are going to turn to the right. So everything's going to be to the right because I tumble with my right leg. So my hands are turning to the right. And my back leg is giving me all of that power for the cartwheel. So it's really important that I kick my back leg super hard. So going into the cartwheel would kind of look like this. So now we're going to actually do the cartwheel and really pay attention to those contact points that we discussed. One, two, three, and four. It's also really important that you're pointing your toes throughout the whole cartwheel. It just makes it nice and clean and pretty. So I'd like to explain to you guys that I've been tumbling for a while now. So I'd like to think that my tumbling is rather decent. So I don't want anyone to get discouraged if their cartwheel doesn't look exactly like that when you first start. The main goal is to kick as hard as you can and with practice it's going to keep getting better. So potentially your cartwheel can look something like this. You can which is just fine. It just means that you need to kick a little harder and the main goal is to get your feet to the top and locked out. But that's a good starting place to start. Just really working on kicking over. So don't get this. Now we're going to wrap up with explaining a little bit more in depth how you should land your cartwheel. So when you land a cartwheel, you're going to land the opposite way you started. So as you probably saw, we started facing this way. So now we're going to land facing this way. You land the exact same way as you start with that right leg in front and that left leg in back and still having those arms by those ears the whole time. So the landing is just as important as the beginning because when you progress, you're probably gonna be doing something 
after your cartwheel, so it's really important to land in a good solid position.